Good day class. So our topic is all about absolute value. So what is meant when we say absolute value? Absolute value class is the distance of a number from zero. So meaning to say if we have here the number line 5 and negative 5 are our given, right? So here the distance from 0 to 5 is 5. Still, the distance from 0 to negative 5 is still 5. Therefore, the absolute value of an integer is always positive because there is no distance such as a negative number. Okay? And we have here an example. This is what we call the symbol or the modulus symbol for the absolute value. We can also call them as the bars. Okay? So the absolute value of 5... The distance, just like what we have discussed, it's positive 5. Another, absolute value of negative 7, that is on the left side of our number line. So, from 0 to negative 7, still the distance or the absolute value is positive 7. How about this one? We have here the negative absolute value of 4. Since we have here the absolute value, let us simplify first this one. And then put the negative beside it. So the value of or the absolute value of positive 4 is positive 4. And then we have a negative. Putting them together, the answer is negative 4. Or multiplying the negative sign, the negative symbol to the answer positive 4, that is negative 4. Another negative absolute value of negative 9. So we have here, let's simplify this absolute value first. We have a negative 9. The distance from negative 9, I mean the distance from 0 to negative 9 that's on the left side of our number line is 9. Okay, still positive. However, outside our bars or the absolute value symbol, we have negative. So putting them together, we have negative 9. Okay. Another example, we have here the absolute value of negative and the absolute value of 3. Okay, So we have to simplify first the innermost part of our bars. So here, the absolute value of positive 3 is of course positive 3. And the absolute value of negative 3, since we have simplified this as 3, so therefore it's already neg uh, absolute value of negative 3 the answer is still a positive 3. Okay, to summarize, when we have a modulus symbol or a bars or what we call the absolute value symbol, the answer is always positive. So for your assignment, please answer the five items. Thank you.